Hey everybody, this is Greg with You're the Dad Gaming. Today I'm going to talk about inventory management in Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. When you start playing this game, you will quickly realize that you will find lots of loot, which is a good thing. Everybody loves loot, and you will run out of space. So I'm going to show you how to manage that a little bit and to uh, not get too frustrated with the fact that your inventory always gets full. So like right now, I just opened this chest. Um, I've got some things I probably want to pick up here, especially this blue one. Looks like it might be something good. Um, so I'm going to show you how to manage this. So the first and easiest way to manage this is to just drop items. So you're going to go into your inventory and I'm going, you can see my backpacks at 45 out of 45. I've actually purchased some storage deck upgrades. I'll show that later in the video how to do that um, and how I did that. Uh, but you usually start out, I believe it's 36 out of 36. So you're going to fill up a little bit faster than what I'm going to fill up. So anyway, I usually sort by score. This isn't always a good indicator that the top score is the best item. It just really helps you filter out that you, you the weapons that you don't probably want to keep around or um you know it, whatever gear you don't want is probably going to be at the bottom of this list so like down here you can see i've got some common items they're going to have a lower score they're going to have a lower worth gold gold is important you need that gold to buy storage deck upgrades and other things in the game and weapons so um if you're out and you're not close to somewhere where you can sell some things then you're probably just going to want to drop these low level items so that you can keep looting more of the more uh, uncommon and rare and legendary items. So you just hold Y and you drop that. I'm going to drop uh, one more and you see they'll just fall there. So now I can pick up that one, pick up that one. Oh, but my inventory is still full. So let's go back to inventory. And the other thing you can look for is you may have picked up, and there's lots of these. Uh, so far in the game, I've picked up probably at least 10, 15 of these. Uh, are these uh, banner patterns, or could be, um, I believe, armor patterns. Um, there's just different kind of customizations that you can pick up. And all you have to do is select them and hit A, and it caches that in, and it'll say that it's unlocked, whatever it is, a banner pattern or an armor customization or some other uh, skin. Um, so that's another way. So now that I, you can see I've got 44 out of 45, I will pick that up and I'm good to go. So the other way is to go find a, a shop to sell at. And if you've ever played a Borderlands game, they have these little vending machines where they sell uh, you know, guns, armor, things like that. This doesn't change at all. As you can see right over here, as soon as you come into Bright Hoof, um, early in the game, there's a couple of missions you've got to do to unlock, unlock Bright Hoof uh, so that you can get access to these. There are a couple of scattered around um, before in some of the other areas, but here's the easiest place is to go to Bright Hoof and you can shop, go to sell, and then you can go down here and sell any item that you probably don't want so like this one i will go ahead and sell this but that's really slow so let me show you a little faster way so when you go into your inventory you notice it says left stick marks as junk or favorite so you'll want to use that to your advantage uh, when you're out picking up things you can just quickly mark that so let's see it's got the little trash can icon on it and I'm going to mark these as junk because I don't need them. I'm not going to use them. I'm just going to get rid of them. I'll keep that rare. I may eventually look at that. But all these common ones, I know I'm pretty much not going to use or I can't use. So I'm marking these all as junk. And now when I go, I don't even have to enter into the machine. You can do it right here. You can just hit Y to sell here. Or you can go to shop and then you hit Y while you're in the shop, sell all junk, and then boom. You can notice down the bottom, uh, right above my gold, it says 31 out of 45 now. So, you know, we can see there 31 out of 45. So that's an easy way to sell things really quickly. Oh, no. 
And another way you can manage your inventory is if you go to Izzy's Fizzy's, and this will be a quest when you get uh, unlock the Bright Hoof completely. You will go in and you will meet Izzy, and she'll kind of show you around, and she will show you this area. There's Izzy right there. Back here in the corner, there is two things of note. So there is the lost loot. So if you didn't pick up something by accident or for some reason you left something after you clear up your inventory and it's a, a, I believe it's a rare or higher item, it will show up here and you can retrieve it. Um, but you can also store items. So you can access your bank and you can see I've already got something so I can either get that out or I can hit right bumper and switch to actually um, deposit. So let's just say I want to store this maybe for later. Select that. Cleared up my backpack, so now I'm 30 at 45. And if I go back to retrieve, I can get that and swap out. Um, you can also purchase upgrades for this. Along with storage deck upgrades. So let's go to the map and I'll show you on the map where that's at. Uh, let's see, right here is the Blacksmith Forge. And if you go, when you're in Izzy's Fizzies, you'll head out this door here and you'll look for the uh, Chestnut Gate area. This is a big uh, drawbridge that comes across here, across over here and to the left is a Blacksmith and you'll have another mission to come visit the Blacksmith and the blacksmith's right there and over to the left of the blacksmith is a place to buy upgrades so this here you can buy uh, backpack uh, sdus i've already bought several of these and you can see them I'm, I'm out of gold to buy those so that's why the gold is really good and then for your bank you can buy upgrades also so that way your bank can um you can carry more items in your bank so that way if you want to keep legendary items you can go back and store them in your bank and hang on, hang on to those for uh, later time. Or if you want to, if you play co-op, you may want to, you know, keep those guns to give to other people or keep, uh, you know, whatever item gear it is, you may want to keep that. So you can also upgrade your lost loot uh, SDU. So that way, if you leave stuff out in the open, you can always get it and uh, you don't have to worry about not having to lose that lost loot. All right, well, that's all I've got today. That's how you do manage your inventory in Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. Um, if you've got any questions, drop a comment. I'll try to answer them. If you're familiar with Borderlands 3, it's a very similar setup. Um, I don't think they've changed a lot, but it, it looks like maybe um, they've changed a little bit. I don't believe you could increase the loss loot. Maybe you could, uh, but that's... Um, that's what they've uh, they've tried to model this. It's, this game's pretty much running the same as Borderlands 3. It's just a, a really heavy skin is what I like to call it. Um, so if you got any questions, drop them in the comments. I'll try to answer it. If you see anything on Tiny Tina Wonderlands that you want me to cover, um, I'll try to cover that also. Um, so if you enjoyed this video, please consider hitting that like button. And if you enjoy what we're doing here on the channel and want to see more of this, please consider subscribing if you're not already a subscriber. And as always, thanks for watching.